Today we're going to talk about pontoon boats. To another edition of Community Corner with Big Jeff. Hope you have fun. Gotta learn about the news today. Hello, welcome to another edition of Community Corner with Big Jim. We're at Busy Butchdale. I think I pronounced that right, Ohio. And uh, we're going to be talking to a man that carves with a chainsaw into wood. It makes some beautiful sculptured artwork here. Uh, Dale Brock Bacharach. Uh, you, know, you know how I am with words. Um, how long have you been doing this? Oh, about seven or eight years now since I started carving. Okay, and uh, as, as time went along, did you find yourself making more and more each year? Or? Every winter when things are slow, I tried to add a couple of new items and uh, expand the repertoire a little. Okay, and what, what is the uh, the easiest and what is the hardest ones to make? Well, the easiest for me would be the bear. That's what I started with and I have made enough of them. I could pretty much do them in my sleep anymore. That's probably your number one seller. Uh, the bears are the number one. Eagles are a close second. Okay, and um, the hardest? Anything new I'm working on. Right now I'm working on uh, horses and they're coming along, but... Do you have any samples around right now that you've been working on, or do you destroy them immediately <laughs> so people can't see it? No, they've been selling as fast as I make them, but they're still not up to my standards, but... But, they, but they're taking them? Oh, yes. Oh, That's yes. fantastic. Well, that just shows you, you know, that um, just because you don't think it's right. your best, they're, they're very pleased with that. So, all right, and uh, what are we going to do today? I know you're going to uh, give us a, a, a quick lesson on how to do this. Do not try this at home, folks. <laughs> no, we are trained professionals. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Do not try this at home. Believe me, I'm not even going to try it. I'm standing away from this man. Uh, what are we? What are you going to make today for us? Well, uh, we're going to do a perched eagle similar to one you have behind you there. It'll be a little bit smaller version of that. Take about a half an hour and uh, you'll see start to finish. Okay, the uh, the, the perched eagles. Now there's, there's kind of two, uh, are we talking about the smaller one over there? Yes. Okay, that that's beautiful. I mean, um, I'm not going to ask you how long it takes because that's a trade secret I hear amongst you guys. <laughs> well, the small one we'll do this morning will be about a half an hour. About a half an hour. So um, I, I think it'll be interesting to watch him do this. Um, this is this is something that you really have to have good nerves of steel, I would think. Um, definitely not when you're upset at somebody. <laughs> Or in one of those bad hair days, you, you don't want to do that. Uh, this is beautiful weather today. Uh, well, when, when it stays like this, do you get into the groove and cop out like 10 of them or something? If I can keep myself from going fishing, sure. <laughs> A fisherman, I hear. <laughs> yes. Do you do fish? Yeah, actually, I have one in the shed waiting to be picked up. Uh, if we, if you like, before you leave, you can get a picture of that. But uh, everything, otherwise, everything I have right now is sitting here. Okay. Yeah, I, I noticed there's mushrooms. How, how much of a seller are those? At this time of year, I sell quite a few of the mushrooms. They're just a small, quick item I do out of scrap wood for about just a few dollars. And this mushroom hunting season, so... Um, I've noticed a dolphin too um, that, that you've done uh, really big. Now, that was smooth. Did you sand that down or something? Yeah, the dolphins look much better sanded, so I do sand those. Uh, otherwise, everything I do is 100% chainsaw. There are no hand tools involved. Okay. Wh where do you get your, your wood from? I do an occasional tree removal job or trim, and I used to work in the woods. I have friends that still do. I usually don't have a hard time getting wood. Oh, that's that's great. Um, so you're getting the wood for free? Uh, when I can, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, you're getting paid to get the wood in some cases. So. In some cases, I do a lot of work simply for the wood, just helping out friends. I don't do it as a business. Right. Well, you know, this is this is perfect for this area because there's not much around here, uh, and to pass your time away and make a living at this, uh, my hat's off to you. And I, it's a really 
uh, good business to get into if, if this is what you want to do. I mean, it's somewhat profitable for you, I take it. Well, it's a sideline. Um, I make most of my income doing shows over the road. Most people, obviously, if you have a family, you're not going to be able to do that. But uh, selling here while I'm at home, it adds, it all helps. Right. Now, I, I, we're going to see the technique, how you do this. Is there anything else that when the customer buys this that they need to do when they get home at all? Yeah, most of my pieces I sell unfinished, and so I always give instructions on how to care for them, put the proper finish on so they last. Okay, so there is a little bit of work if if it's outdoors, I take right, it. Right, indoors really not necessary, but it still wouldn't hurt to coat them with something. Right, right, and give it a shiny look anyway. That's right. Yeah. All right, you ready to do this? Sure, let's get one cut. All right, hey, this is Community Quarter with Big Jim. We're going to saw some wood, baby. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're, we're going to saw away. Listen, we got competition. <laughs> yep. Weed whacking across the street. I like it. Okay, here's the, the hunk of wood we're going to do. And um, yep, I made the first initial cuts already to get that out of the way, just three cuts. Uh, but uh, you'll see basically start to finish. And this will take probably about a half an hour if nothing goes wrong. I want to wish you luck. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> He's got the safety goggles on. Yep. He's going to be putting on some earplugs here. Yep, that's one of the things with the shows we do. We really stress the safety. I always uh, talk about that. I won't do that this morning, but I do want to point out that I do wear the chaps, safety glasses, and earmuffs. Yeah. That's that's something that is uh, the, the community should take heed to. Uh, with all the accidents that happen around and stuff like this, uh, it's because usually proper measures aren't done. And this is the uh, the essentials, what he's got on right now. So, all right, like I said, good luck and let's do it. <laughs>
welcome to another edition of Community Corner with Big Jim. Just like I need my fuel, so does this thing. Got a little break in the action here to make sure he doesn't run out of gas while he's performing his artic uh, articulate sculpture going on here. I try to pick up some new words used for street smarts in the future. Uh, so we're filling up and uh, I believe we're down to the, to the feet. Feet in the front. Feet in the legs and that'll be all. Feet in the legs and then uh, I'm going to ask him a few questions about what he just did. This is uh, Community Corner with Big Jim. We're cutting and sawing some wood.
that's all the cutting. I'll just do a little burning to give it some color and we'll be finished. All right, we, uh, we're done with the cutting stage, or the, the saw stage. I'm the one that says cut around here. Um, and this is a this is a definitely work of art. So now you burn it. Yep. What, what are you using for a torch or just a propane torch? Propane torch. Um, and we're almost done. Just about. So it'll yeah. take a few more minutes. All right. Uh, he's going to get the torch going here. We're going to finish this job up, and uh, we're sawing some wood here in Butchnoll, Ohio. And uh, I get to say the word cut. these air dry before I burn them so they burn more evenly but Clean it up with a saw a little bit and it's finished. All right.
brings up the eyeball. You gotta have eyeballs because eagles have great eyesight. This is the finishing touch right here. <laughs> yep. Oop. Thank you. What are those? Just marbles or? Yep, regular marbles. We spare no expense here. <laughs> All right. Nice. That's the quick version of an eagle. Still going? Yeah. And uh, I just want to show real quick the cameraman for Community Corner <laughs> with Big Jim today. So uh, he's little Jim here. And uh, Jim, I, I, I'm hoping you got what I saw. And uh, yes. I thank you much for coming out today and helping us out with this. So uh, I'm going to say cut one more time. We're going to go up on the trailer. and. Uh, Say thanks to this young man for being on Community Corner with Big Jim. And uh, we'll end the show right there, right? God, he says. All right, you know, that was just uh, magic in motion over there watching you. Um, I was really amazed at how the design started coming in with the feathers. And uh, just, it was, it was cool. It was cool to watch. Um, and, and I'm taking you enjoy doing it. Probably as much as I watched. Well, I hope so. Yeah. All right. Uh, we have a fish here. Yeah, this is the one item I didn't have on the trailer earlier. Uh, I do a wide variety of items. Right now, I just have the bears and the eagles out. That's what I have left after this past weekend. But I'll be making through the week, and by, by the weekend, who knows what will be sitting out here. Right. And you mentioned horses, too. Yeah, horses, turtles, raccoons. I've done beavers, groundhogs, even. Uh, uh, personal request, I take it? Yeah. Uh, what about a deer head? I haven't got done any deer heads because I haven't come up with a design that I'm confident wouldn't break. Well, you know, a guy like me that doesn't go deer hunting, I'll never have a deer head on my uh, wall. So that would be the alternative to say, hey, there's my buck. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's an idea. Maybe something. Oh, it's in the back of my head if I can ever come up with a design that I like. Yeah. I just haven't come up with it yet. Yeah. The, uh, the PETA people will love you for that, you know. <laughs> so uh, you, you go around the shows. Uh, what, 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 Eastern half the country we cover. Everything from the Dakotas down to Texas and to the East Coast. So have you been up in the Boston area? No, I. the closest I've been to the Boston area would be a, a sports show we did in the wintertime in Providence, Rhode Island. Okay. But I've been to the New York City area once. That was enough for me. And <laughs> <laughs> was that a while ago? Yeah, that's been a few years. Were you right downtown? No, we were actually in New Paltz, which is uh, north of the city. Oh, okay. So too much hustle bustle, huh? Definitely. Yeah. You, you know, all, all you got to worry about for traffic around here is... Uh, th that lady cop that they call her speed trap, I think. <laughs> but uh, you know, this is a this is a great little community here. Yep, I like it here. So, so you do go to some shows. How, about how many shows do you go to? Uh, right now, we have 42 shows under contract for this season, and uh, that'll probably increase a few more yet before it's all said and finished. All right, great. So, uh, we're going to put up uh, your uh, your telephone number. And uh, some, some contact info, so if anybody would like to talk to you and put in a personal request or wants to make sure that they put one of these items on, uh, on the shelf for them, uh, they'll be able to get in touch with you. So I really appreciate it. I was just informed that the eagle that he just uh, made for the show, he's going to donate to the Fraternal Order of the Eagles in Corning. Uh, they're having their district meeting, and uh, I guess there's a silent auction going on, uh, raising money for some charities. 
Um, so he's gracious enough to go ahead and donate that to the Eagles. You know, did that is that because it was an Eagle too? Well, that was part of it, yeah. yeah. A bear would be great, but to the Eagles, I think, you know what? That'll be probably the top selling item there. And we thank you for it. Not a problem. I donate a number of items every year, as you well know. Oh, yeah. He's uh, Chili Pepper Festival. He's helped out. And uh, a few of the uh, the Leos from Trumbull Township, he's donated for their uh, Chinese auction. So he's definitely given to the community, folks. I want to stress that. So, all right. Hey, thanks again. I'm glad nobody got hurt, especially my. <laughs> Myself. And uh, this is Big Jim, Community Corner, and we'll see you next Friday night at 8 o'clock. Community Corner. Featuring hey, welcome Big to Jim. another edition of Community Corner with Big Jim.